welcome to In the Kitchen with Cheryl and today I'll be grilling in my outdoor barbecue. I'm going to be grilling um, T-bone steaks and I'll show you my cheesy fries. But first let me take you into my garden where I get my fresh green peppers and my banana peppers for my meals that I prepare. I have some pretty big banana peppers that I use in my sauces. Now that I've pe picked all my peppers that were ready to be picked, say that ten times quick. I'll put them off to the side on my counter. First what I'm going to do is salt and pepper. I have my grill heating at 400 degrees. You can hear them sizzling. I like to use the teriyaki sauce on top of my steak. I glaze on it and then I'll flip the steak over and glaze the other side. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to grill some onions along with my mushrooms and prepare them for when I have my steak. Prepared my onion, what it is is one large white onion and I sliced it. You see the nice grill marks on the steak. Just coat it till it's all on top of the steak. Now I'll go into my fridge and get my can of mushrooms. I like to use the whole mushrooms and what I'm going to do is take this whole can along with the liquid and put it into my onions. I'll let the mushrooms heat up a little bit. Then I'll switch pans, put my uh, oil on here so that I can start my fries for the cheesy french fries. The noise you hear in the background is the vent. I had a custom built vent to take all the steam and the heat and put it right outside so this way here it doesn't uh, cloud up inside here. My mushrooms are all set so what I'm going to do is take them and put them in a different pan. What I did is I took six potatoes, I washed them, I didn't peel them, and I sliced them up. So now I'm going to just season them with salt and pepper. Lines onto the steak, the grill marks. And I'll put the glaze on the top of the steaks on this side. Oh yeah, they browned up nicely. So I'll put them on the paper towel over here to absorb the excess oil.
With the lid being down, the heat gets really intense in here. Right now it's up to 550, so it doesn't take long for the steaks to cook in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the lid up and then check them. cooking out really good. You can okay, what I'm going to do now, seeing how my french fries are all done, I'm going to go get my cheese, put some in, in my little pot here, put it on a burner and melt it so that I can just spread it all on top of the fries. So I just like to use, I don't know, just regular old cheddar, cheddar cheese. I buy the store brand. So I'll take about a fourth of a cup. It'll melt quick on this burner. I'll check my steaks. Oh yeah, they're done. And this is what the steaks look like with that glaze on it, the teriyaki glaze. Put my steak on the plate. Take a couple of fries. Then I'll get my grilled onions and mushrooms. I'm going to give the fries a taste. Mm. It's really good, the homemade fries with the cheddar cheese melted on top. Now I'll try the steak with the teriyaki glaze. I'll take a mushroom, the steak, mmm. If you like, you can email me uh, suggestions or, or comments at Cheryl's Real Video World at yahoo.com and I look forward to them. And I highly recommend this dish because it's really, really good and that teriyaki, teriyaki sauce came out excellent on the steak with the grilled onions and the button mushrooms and these cheesy fries. I mean, they're really, really good. Thank you very much for watching In the Kitchen with Cheryl and I'll see you next time.